Hi everybody, this is Kirk with the Science of Awesome, and today we're going to be talking about the difference between inherited traits and learned behavior. An inherited trait is something you inherit from your parents. It comes through your DNA. Now this might be something like your hair color or your eye color or the way that your nose looks. Whereas a learned behavior is something that you learn. It might be how you learned how to read or how to walk or how to ride a bike. So in today's activity, we're going to be exploring those inherited traits that you get from your parents by making ugly babies. Now in order for this to work, you need to go to the Science of Awesome website and download this sheet that says the Ugly Baby Lab. Now on here we have various different traits that someone might have on their face. Okay, so first we might have the shape of the face, the cleft chin, the texture of the hair, so and so on, okay? So as we all know, every baby has two parents, a mother and a father. Now whether they are in your life or not, everyone has a biological parent that is a mo mother and a father. And you get half of your DNA from your mother and half of your DNA from your father. So what we're going to do is that we're going to flip a coin to see whether we get a dominant or recessive trait from our father. A dominant trait means that it's really strong. A recessive trait means that it might be a little bit hidden, it's weaker. All right, and so what you're going to do is you're going to roll, you're gonna flip your coin, put it down. Now, if it is a heads, that's a dominant trait, okay? So we just remember that dominant is going to be heads. I'm going to put a little note here. Dominant is going to be heads. And a recessive, that means that it is a weaker trait. It's sort of hidden inside of your DNA. That is going to be tails. All right. Now, let's say that I get two heads. I get one head. I'm going to write... write one head, all right, and then from my father, and then I'm going to flip my coin again, and I get a, another head from my mother, all right, so I, since I get half from my father, half from my mother, I should be able to use those two things to get the shape of my face, okay, so here the shape of my face, my shape of my face here is round, okay, now, so since I have two, two heads, they're both dominant, I'm going to get a round, so I'm going to write here round, all right now let's say I flip my coin okay and when I flip it and it comes down I get a tails okay so I'm gonna get a tails I see that tails is a recessive and I, I, I roll it again and it just so happens that I get a tails again on my coin all right so again is going to be a recessive so if I have two recessives I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go to the recessive thing. So here's my cleft chin. The, the cleft chin is sort of that little dent on the inside of your chin. We used to call it the butt chin, okay? So if you have a little dent on the side of your chin, that's gonna be your cleft chin, all right? But I have two, uh, two tails, so I'm recessive. And so I do not have a butt chin, I do not have a cleft chin, all right? So I'm gonna say no cleft chin, all right? So now let's say that I go down and I'm going to, my first one is, I, 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 I shake it up and I roll it down. The first one happens to be heads. And that's for my father. And then I'm going to shake it up again. All right, and I get a tails just for my mother. All right, so now I have one dominant, one recessive. If that happens, I get what's called a hybrid. All right, this middle, this middle column, okay? And so this one we have, we have, the hair, the texture of the hair. Now this one, if I had both heads, it would be curly. But I have uh, one head, one tailor, so it's gonna be wavy. So I'd write down wavy hair. All right. Now you're going to do this throughout all of these different characteristics of what you would get for a baby. Now when you are finished with that, over here you're going to take your uh, you can draw your ugly baby. All right, so I look at here, I have a round face, so I might draw a round face here, okay? And as a good scientist, I would, I, I would label it round face. All right, and then I look at my chin here, there's no chef chin, I have some wavy hair. So I look over here, at this wavy hair over here, and this wavy hair goes like this. All right, and I continue on. And I draw a terrible, wavy, it's almost like a mullet. 
all right we get some wavy hair down here all right and so and so on and I, I keep on working and I keep on drawing my ugly baby all right and so this is what at the very end I'm gonna name your baby based on whatever floats your boat on what you think it should look like the best all right so what you need to do then again go to the science of awesome website and you can download this lab if you don't have a, a, a printer at your home that's fine you can pull it up take a piece of lined paper go through each of the sections and write down whether it's a round face cleft chin wave hair the spacing of the eyes with the shape of the eyes position of the eyes whatever it is you write down what your phenotype is and then draw your ugly baby. And then you, if you are in my class in Houston, Texas, you can go and send me a picture of your ugly baby along with your phenotypes and your activity and that will, I will post it online. So this wraps up this episode of the Science of Awesome. I hope you learned something about DNA, about inherited traits and learned behavior. And if this helped you at all in your science journey, make sure you like and subscribe to the links below. And just like every time, remember to stay awesome.